What's the presentation going to be today? We're going to go old, old school. Yeah. Easy peasy. We're going to give them what they want. Okay. Uh, B&M poles, double mental rig, Caps yeah. and Coleman double mental rig. We're going to tip a crappie magnet on the bottom hook. Uh huh. Live bait. 6.7 mile an hour and it's going to be fast and furious. Fast and furious. Yes, sir. <laughs> Woo! John! Yes, sir. Mayo! ZXR21 Skeeter. Yes, sir. You do things right around here in Mississippi, don't you? God is blessed. It's yeah. really, really hate. <laughs> yes, he has. He has. Hey, I like your fish eat live sticker there. Yes, sir. Very cool. And that's a heck of a minnow bucket. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen a minnow bucket like that. Well, uh, down here in Mississippi, it gets really, really hot in the summertime. Yeah. Got to have a way to keep your minnows good and cool. Yeah. Uh, that's a Yeti 35 quart uh, cooler that's been converted over to a minnow cooler. Got a bub steady. Yeah. Minnow aerator on it. And uh, that's why it, it's so quiet, right? Got it quite, quite, quite. Yeah. And uh, keep those minnows good and lively, and that's what you need this time of year. And you, you guide for John Harrison, right? <laughs> yes, sir. John and I have been good friends for a long time. Uh, tournament fished against each other. Been guiding for him for quite a while now, and uh, we stay busy right here in Mississippi. You've been friends with a lot of people for a long time, haven't you? <laughs> I, I mean, you're kind of like the glue, <laughs> I would say, because yes, in my short time that I've experienced around the crappie compound, everybody seems to kind of gravitate <laughs> around you, but yet well, you're so soft-spoken. <laughs> well... Somebody's got to keep those chickens herded up up there at the compound, yeah. you know, so... Uh, yeah. Met the Smith family uh, probably 20 years ago, and uh, they really changed my life. They really did. Uh, Isn't it amazing, their hospitality? It really, really is. You know, uh, crappie fishing here in Mississippi, it's not a hobby, it's religion. That's true. And uh, Mr. A. E. Smith did a lot for me. Yeah. And uh, miss him every day. I, I, I never had the chance to meet him, but anybody that ever talks about him, including Les... Uh, they all kind of get a little emotional yes. because he was a very influential person he, in the crappie world. He was that. He, uh, he helped design rods. He helped design presentations. And uh, and he did it all his life, correct? He did. He did. Yeah. Uh, you know, Pop did a lot for me. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's all right, man. It's, uh, sure did. Yeah. Well... Leslie and uh, Lois, they're, they're just continuing in his tradition, aren't they? That's right. Yeah, well, man, I'm so honored to be around kind of crappie royalty in you today. And, and <laughs> Well, I, I wouldn't go that far. You're getting to, <laughs> you're getting to hang out with the redneck verse. Okay, all right, all right. But, hey, I but, mean, uh, it, it's going to be a good day. I mean, It, it really is. From, uh, from my experience getting to know you, you've... Uh, you, you think outside the box, don't you? You're always thinking about it. <laughs> I eat, breathe, and sleep this. You know, my mom told me that uh, if I would have studied school books like I studied crappie fishing, I could have been a brain surgeon. Yeah. And that's a little scary there. Now. Yeah, that's <laughs> but, true. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've grown up here on these lakes. Uh, best days of my life were spent in a 12-foot polar graph boat with my family. Uh-huh. Yeah, no what I enjoy. Yeah, it's your life, man. That's right. That's right. And you do an amazing job with that life. I mean, uh, That's right. from guiding to, uh, you know, tips and experience, and uh, you're kind of an artist on the side, aren't you? Well, I wouldn't go that far. I enjoy playing with some jig heads and uh, coming up with some baits. And, yeah. uh, you know, here at JH Guide Service, we're associated with the best companies in the market. You know, Mr. Jeff Smith and Crappie Magnet, uh -huh. uh, B&M Poles. Uh, we're always trying to come up with something new. Uh, you know, and that's what I enjoy. Yeah. Uh, I, I literally eat, breathe, and sleep this seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Well, I'm sorry and... it's taken me so long to get around <laughs> to doing a fish sheet live with you because you are kind of uh, one of the big staples well, in I'm... this JH Guide Service <laughs> that, uh, you know, nails 
crappie fishing in the Big Four area, you yes. know, puts it up on a pedestal. People well, come from all over to, the country to come fish with you. You know, growing up here, we take it for granted, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, where else can you go and catch 75 to 100 fish a day, uh, 11 and a half plus inches? Yeah. Uh, you know, springtime, fall, we can go after our big fish. Uh, where else in the country do you come seven days a week and there's 50 to 100 boats on these lakes? That's true. Uh, crappie fishing has really, really changed in my lifetime. These lakes were full of cypress and willow trees growing up here. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, I literally grew up on these lakes. And uh, the lakes have silted in. Uh, fishing has changed. It really has. These fish relate more to contours, uh -huh. uh, points, main lake points this time of year. We don't have any structure left in our lakes like we did when I was young. Uh, you know, summertime, back when I was a kid, we would go out and fish, you know, brush, uh, you know, with dead standing timber all over the lakes. And, I mean, it, it's just different now. Uh, the fishing has changed. The fish have changed. Yeah. I really believe generation after generation these fish get smarter. Now we're using forward-facing sonar. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it It's really changed. Uh, I and you got to it. change with the fish. Yeah. And we got to stop talking and get out there and do That's it. That's right. Look but, right there. Yeah, they beat us. Those dirty dogs. Oh, what a pretty sunrise. Oh, man. And such a beautiful area. That's right. You know what I mean? Such a beautiful area. Uh, I know that in your heart of hearts, you don't take this for granted. No, no, but, at but, all. No, but uh, do you get to go any other place and fish for crappie ever, or you just... I used to back when I tournament fish, yeah. but uh, we stay pretty busy here at JH Guide Service. We yeah. really do. Yeah, you and, guide uh, year long. Year long. We don't never slow down. Yeah. Uh, I give up hunting five years ago. I lost my dad, and uh, this is all I do. Uh, yeah. Twelve months out of the year, okay. and uh, you know, wintertime fishing is just as good. Uh, you know, it, you just got to stay after it. You know, chase something that you love, uh -huh. and uh, put your time in. You'll learn it. Fishing down here in the summertime is just as good as any other time. You can catch lots of numbers. Uh, you know, here at JH Guide Service, it, uh, you know, this is our favorite time of year to fish because you can catch them literally any way you want to. Yeah, there's like four or five different tested and proven daily presentations that these crappie will go for. They're just eating. They're just eating machines. They're, they're eating machines. They're feeding up uh, bait fish everywhere in the lake. Uh, you know, you you can literally take any technique in crappie fishing. Yeah. Uh, this time of year, and come down here and catch them. Uh, you know, live scoping's become real big. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people, it's a great time to come out and practice that. Cast to them. Uh, these fish, uh, you know, chase these baits down this time of year. Uh, really fun technique. Yesterday. Uh, not to interrupt you, but after I did a show with Les <laughs> where we power trolled. Uh, I got in the boat with Driscoll and we were throwing double jigs and we were catching them two at a time. Yes. Uh, with one <laughs> one cast bringing up two crappie on one pole. I couldn't believe it. It is. Uh, it's a little different. So, so that's one way, casting to them. And then uh, John Harrison and I, he casted. I dropped on them yesterday. Yeah. Uh, Les Smith power trolled yesterday. Uh, we're even going to do a little crankbait later today. And, uh, you know... Pick out what you enjoy. Uh, yeah. You know, it's all about coming out here with friends and family. And the, uh, the tourism for people that are addicts. That is correct. Crappie addicts or <laughs> crappie heads, as uh, some people call them. Uh, you know, that uh, those people can come down here anytime and with their favorite technique be quite successful on a lake they've never fished. Hey, it gets no simpler than what we're doing today, uh, you know literally take a B&M pole, yeah. uh, take a B&M Caps and Coleman minnow rig, and uh, come down here, get you a bucket full of minnows, and uh, bring your family out here and, and have a fun time. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine. Kids. <laughs> Do you enjoy guiding kids? Absolutely <clears> love them. <throat> Got a fish on oh, the outside. On. I can't stop talking <laughs> about crappie fishing to catch these crappie. Oh, that's a big one. I don't know if we can swing him. 
Oh, you can? That old B&M pole is swinging right on in here. I'll be darned. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes, sir. All right. That All one right. there come on a straight minnow. Uh, you know, it's just not a spring and fall pattern. I mean, you can come down here and do it year round. tell you what man and I'm not sponsored by them or anything but uh, I wear contacts too so you know sometimes when the breeze hits your contacts in your eyes it, it dries them out but those are you can actually see better with them on uh, even this early in the morning I than agree you can without them. Uh, I agree. It, they're just amazing they really are you know what I wonder I'm gonna get a little experimental here wonder if we could do like a Pepsi challenge because these the screen just seems to be easier to see I'm gonna hold I'm gonna see if I can record the screen probably should be watching my polls but here's the screen with and then or without and then let's see if I just put the glasses over it. And then, or without. And then let's see if I just put the glasses over it. I don't know if that's a good comparison, but. but anyway, that's kind of a unique. So that's with the glasses. And it definitely, they definitely cut the glare down. They cut the glare down without a doubt. That's All pretty right. unique. So there's the screen. Without the glasses, I like it. That's a good little comparison right there. It is. Uh, you know, we'll credit that to fishing with you. It. Uh, and then, of course, we catch a fish on cue. Got another. Ooh. Another fish. Nicely done. 
Hold that one up there. Just another old. We're gonna credit that one to the <laughs> hook and bullet sunglasses. Ah, do I, I got? Oh jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh, that one's buried it. Here, hold this camera. <laughs> You're, you're the official cameraman. Oh, that's a good one. Good one? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm from Kansas now. <laughs> hey, after doing all that good eating, <laughs> we've done the last few days at the crappie compound. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. How do I look at my hook and bullet sunglasses? Uh, ooh, stylish. Boy, this should make their website. Catch it, doing a comparison and looking good <laughs> and hooking bullets. <laughs> that's another reason I like crappie fishing is, you know, I don't feel self-conscious usually when I'm around crappie fishermen because they usually have the same build as I do because they like that fried fish. You know what I mean? They got a, That's right. a very, I call this a successful build. You know, you can tell That's you're right. a, a skinny crappie fisherman. I don't trust him to be that good of a crappie no, fisherman. Do no, you? you see a skinny crappie fisherman, he's just passing through. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, after we leave the compound up there all weekend, we're gonna need uh, two insulin shots and six pack of Jenny Craig. It, uh, yeah. <laughs> we do a little bit of eating up there. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. And a little bit of drinking. Yeah, we might Just have a smidgen. Uh, yeah. Last night, you know, I, I usually don't drink. You know, I'm not a big drinker, but I'm not one to turn one down. And after a hard day of fishing on, uh, you know, sunny day all day, we That's fished. Right. Somebody said, Kirby, would you like a watermelon margarita? And I'm like, oh my gosh, that sounds delicious. And I turn around and they had pulled this, I don't know if it was a prank or if they just wanted me drunk, but they gave me this <laughs> margarita the size of Texas. I took it, but I felt weird. Because I'm like, I can't drink all that and function tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> hey, but I bet you slept good. Oh, well, I did slip good. But what's funny is I, I poured it out in like three cups, right? And uh, gave them to other people that were around there. And after I drank that first one, I was like, dang, I shouldn't have gave that all away. That was delicious. <laughs> Incoming. Incoming. Oh, I better lower a little bit. Got him. <laughs> My gosh, we've been here three minutes. <laughs> three fish. Just, oh, uh, my gosh. You can come down here 12 months out of the year and chase these fish. Oh, it's just nothing else like it. All right, so what depth do we go back down here on? Oh. Uh, so drop that bottom minnow. So how how long are these trolling poles? So these are 18 foot B and M PSTs. 18 That's, feet. So we want to go how deep? Let's set the uh, weight at the bottom of the rod. At the bottom of the rod. Oh yes, my sir. gosh, you got another. Okay, that's pretty close. Yes, sir. Yeah, this could get a little maddening. It uh look at that one. That's another legal fish, another 12 inch crop. Yes, sir. It uh it's fast and furious out here, you know. These fish uh just a pretty little old summertime fish. Uh, yes, sir. man, they're pretty this time of year, colored up. Uh-huh. Uh got their summertime colors on and uh it can be fast and furious. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty, but they are so delicious. Now, being around, or actually a founding member of the Crappie Compound Fraternia, Fraternity Mafia, whatever you want to call it, uh, I know you've ran into some dandy crappie recipes. Yes, sir. What are some I, of your favorites? I only have one. That you, that's, a, that's a standout? That is a standout. Okay, uh, well, we... break it down. I want to hear this, because you're a connoisseur. <laughs> Right? Oh, geez, my camera. Right. We have uh, we have cooked crappie this way in our family for all of my life that I can remember. Yeah. Uh, cornflake crumbs. Kellogg's cornflake crumbs. One part flour. Okay. Two part cornflake crumbs. Ooh. Uh, take some eggs, beat them up. Uh, salt and pepper. Catch it, fish, right there. 
Yeah. Salt and pepper in your eggs. Uh -huh. uh, take your fillets, wash them in the egg, strain them real well, and uh, roll them in the uh, cornflake crumbs. And the flour. And the flour, and uh, cook them at about 325 to 350 for about three minutes. Uh -huh. And uh, we've eaten fish cooked that way in our house all of my life, and uh, something a little different. Is it sweet and sugary? It's not. It, it will really surprise you. Next time you're up, we're going to cook some. Okay. Uh, that stuff's getting a little bit harder to get. We have to order it off the internet, but uh, still, you know, we've cooked fish my whole life that way. What and do you have to order off the internet? Kellogg's Corn Flakes? Yes, sir. And uh, Oh, yeah. not Frosted Flakes. No. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. But I wonder what Frosted Flakes would taste. Hey, when times get tough, we've done that too. It's a little, <laughs> little, bit, little <laughs> bit sweet. Yeah, we might have to try that too. Okay, Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Wow, so it gives it kind of like a, a crunchy panko type it texture. Does. It okay. does. It uh, does. Very unique taste. Uh, yeah. You know, it's still my, you know, I've eat it every way you can cook it. And uh, it's still my favorite. And, uh, whoa. And that's a swing. Oh man, I got look at that. Look at that sunrise. You get to see some beautiful sunrises down here in Mississippi, don't you? Yes, sir. It is nothing better than being on this lake at sunrise. Absolutely love it. That is gorgeous. Nothing like it. Pretty little old fish. Man. Pretty fish. John Mayo, I can't thank you enough for Yes, sir. Letting me learn how to do this. Kirby, I can't thank you enough for what you've done for crappie fishing. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I'm just hey. I feel yeah. like uh I feel like I'm kinda like Barney Fife in the no, whole sir. crappie fishing, uh, you know, Mayberry scenario. Hey, your family now, you've been to the compound. Yeah. Uh, you've been, uh, you've been inducted into the redneck family down here in Mississippi. Well, and, uh, I tell you what, it is truly an honor to get to hang out with quality individuals like yourself and to uh, be so accepted uh, on, on YouTube. I mean, it's kind of hard <laughs> to get you know accepted on YouTube they can be quite vicious but I tell you what we got such a uh, a fun group of people following this fish eat live channel oh I got another one um, of course I missed it but it's so much fun because people love sharing the knowledge they love talking about crappie fishing and they'll see something on a show and they'll be like oh I never thought of that or they'll be like Oh, well, you should try it this way. They share the wealth. They share the knowledge. That is the difference between crappie fishing and bass fishing. Yeah. Uh, you know, we'll share what we know. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, you can learn so many new techniques. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's what's so special about it. Uh, it it's just sharing, you know, what we enjoy. Yeah. And, uh, and don't get me wrong, there's there's good bass fishermen out there that will are, that love spreading you know information and stuff like that but uh, I don't know if the bass numbers are as affluent as the crappie numbers can't, you know what I mean? you can't you, be. you you catch more crappie I think it I wish does. some of the major sponsors would pick up on that because I think crappie fishing is uh, you know a lot more exciting at times than bass fishing now I watch those major league fishings and yes they are on a timer and they got somebody in the boat and that could be quite exciting but uh i don't know man there's just something about that tug on the line that a crappie produces hey. that makes a man's heart skip a beat and at the end of the day you have a good meal yeah uh, great to eat uh, but it is uh it's something that we have it really is it's a religion down here yeah. it, it's not a hobby we we literally eat breathe and sleep this uh, i think Jack Wells is 
kind of a brainiac, maybe slightly <laughs> genius of sorts when he named this series Fish Eat Live because it truly is a lifestyle it of is. fishing individuals who enjoy feeding their families and feeding their faces and, and these bellies. That's right. Uh, one of the best, most prolific fish available in North America, the crappie. So thank you guys for watching and man, thank you John for the wonderful yes, compliments sir. and thank incredible you. information and the spirituality yes, sir. that you provide uh, everywhere you go, man. You're well, always talking, you know, and that's kind of refreshing. You know, uh, John Godwin is like that as well. He can bring uh, spirituality into almost any conversation and be very poignant and speak right to your heart. Chris Mann, uh, if you ever uh, have an opportunity to meet Chris Mann or, or John Godwin, talk to them about your story and they'll listen and they'll share and, and give their insights on, you know, how they've overcome things in their lives. And who knows, you might take something from them that can help you in, in your life. I know I have, you know, John's helped me out in my spirituality and Chris Mann made it's me cry true. one day. It's just, uh, crappie fishermen are good guys. They really are. You know, it's just one big family. Ow! And you got another one on over there. Holy mackerel, which one? Thank you so much for watching Fish Eat Live. Our mission is to demonstrate the benefits of the Fish Eat Live lifestyle. We look forward to educating, entertaining, and attracting you to the healthy lifestyle of the great outdoors. We're definitely going to have some wholesome family fun on the water every Sunday at 6 p.m. So hit that subscription and that notification bell because we want you to come be a part of this.